Joining us now in a CNBC exclusive is Foot Locker CEO Richard Johnson. Richard, it's good to have you here. How's the holiday spending picture shaping up for you so far? Well, sir, it's great to be here. I hope you and, and Wilford had a, a great Thanksgiving, and hopefully you were part of that online shopping that you just reported about yesterday. You know, the, the big difference uh, yes yesterday both, was— so thank you. <laughs> <laughs> the, the big difference yesterday was that uh, stores really weren't open. You know, this is the first time in many years that uh, we've had our stores closed on Thanksgiving Day. So we saw great online volume. And now today with Black Friday, you know, we're, we're really excited about uh, kicking off the extended holiday season. You, you have shown, Richard, some surprisingly strong retail sales over the last two quarters, which, which might be a little counterintuitive because people think of Foot Locker as a mall-based retailer, which is a tough spot to be in right now during COVID. So what's going on with the customer? Well, our customer loves hot product. They, they love to shop and find uh, the, the great heat that uh, the sneaker companies bring to market. And we're the, the key destination, both online and the mall for those products. And, you know, while the, the consumer there's capacity limits, et cetera, in the malls. But I think, generally speaking, retailers are doing a great job of staying safe and keeping employees and customers safe. So with reduced capacities, with the right PPE equipment, with, uh, you know, making sure that, that employees are safe and customers are safe, we're doing a great deal of business both online and in the stores. So while traffic in general is down in the malls, I believe that, that we're operating in a very safe manner. And our customers tell us that in our, our uh, surveys that we send out to them post-purchase, they feel very safe in our stores, which keeps bringing them back to shop for the great products. Richard, do you think the, the work-from-home trend has uh, boost sales uh, of sneakers over traditional work, uh, work shoes, and, and does that pivot back a little bit next year? I think it has. You know, I've been a proponent for a long time, Wilford, that, that you can wear sneakers every day, whether you're in the office or at home. And I think that the real pivot to work from home has forced people to feel, want to feel comfortable and casual. So it's probably had as much of an impact on the apparel side of the business as it has on the footwear side of the business. But I do believe that people have gotten far more comfortable wearing sneakers all the time, you know, being very casual. You know, we saw great apparel sales and sort of contradictory categories during the third quarter, if you will, from, from great sales in fleece, you know, because people want to feel comfortable and cozy, to, to also great sales in T-shirts and shorts, which don't always line up with each other. But uh, we definitely are believers in, in the casual, more casual environment. And uh, actually, I think even as people pivot back to the office, they've learned that they can be just, in productive, just as productive in, in casual, comfortable products, both on their feet and, and the apparel that they wear. Shepard Smith here. Thanks for watching CNBC on YouTube.